It's just after daybreak. Okay, I'm permission to come aboard. Come aboard, please. Right. And researchers from the Sea Education Association and Eckerd College are leaving the South Florida Marina on a critical mission to search for the giant masses of seaweed multiplying at record-breaking levels and barreling right for Florida's beaches. As we head to sea, we start to see clumps of it. The team wants to scoop up some of this latest wave called sargasm, moving in patches so large they're visible by satellite and almost twice the width of the continental U.S. What are you trying to accomplish by coming out here? Well, we're trying to understand why these blooms are occurring in the first place. Uh, and we think it has something to do with the fact that not all sargassum is the same. The seaweed is already invading hot spots from the Keys to Miami Beach, creating an increasingly ugly and nasty smelling mess. What we've already witnessed on the shores of Florida, is that the tip of the iceberg? I think it's just beginning. We probably have months worth of that coming. Researchers still don't know what exactly is fueling this unprecedented growth, but to get answers, they're collecting three different types. These are some of the best clumps we've had all day. And measuring factors like salt content. And this looks great. It's 37.9 parts per thousand okay. and 26.5 Celsius. Water temperature and other conditions that might explain why it's exploded in size to 13 million tons of the algae. Right now, we're about six miles offshore from Florida. Look over my shoulder right now at just blankets of sargassum. In fact, no matter which direction we look, it's all over here. But where we are, the sargassum barely even registers on satellites. But if you look further south and east, all those blues and reds and greens are substantially larger patches moving this way. Back on land, vacationers brace it for what's to come. You don't like to walk through it, and when it's past your ankle, it gets really creepy. It looks gross. It's really unattractive. Researchers like Jeff Shell and Amy Sweda point out that sargasm may create a rotting smell and eyesore on land. There's some shrimp running around, shrimp some sargassum around in this shrimp. bucket. So they're the same color as the sargassum itself. But in the ocean, it's a vital component of the ecosystem, supporting life like this frogfish and offering an oasis for organisms. I fell in love with sargassum because of the fish and the shrimp and the crabs. It's the only natural floating ecosystem on the planet. We'll be changing the water in each of these jars. Now, all these samples are being examined in a race of science versus nature. That windrow of sargassum extends for miles in both directions. If that windrow is aimed at a beach, that's a game over. Like that sargassum is going to start burying the beach like that. Ultimately, the team hoping to unlock some clues to a deepening maritime mystery. Sam Brock, NBC News, Dania Beach, Florida. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.